Hello Survivors and welcome to a very different piece of First Aid Spray content. This is a first for us in many ways. We've never done a group Let's Play before, but as you can see, this is something very special indeed. You are looking at the Tabletopia uh, demo for a later scenario in the Resident Evil 3 board game. My name is Sai, and I'm going to be playing through it with some familiar faces that you may know. Steve? Hello. Adam? Hello. And Sherwin? Hey guys. Um, I feel like we say this all the time, but it does always bear repeating. Not only is showing part of First Aid Spray, he also designed uh, this game. So he's going to guide us through it a little bit, although we're all pretty experienced uh, with what we're doing here. Um, this is Downtown 1. Um, so we're going to be playing through that. The demo for the sort of opening scenario is available still to play on Tabletopia if you want to get a taste of sort of how the game works in its basics. But this is sort of a bit of a cool exclusive Let's Play. Um, and of course, obviously, as we're doing this, is to celebrate the official funding of Resident Evil 3. The board game has, you know, everything sorted out there. Kickstarter-wise, it's all concluded successfully. Uh, late pledges available now, if this takes your fancy. So congratulations again on that show and team. Um, so, Sherwin, do you want to start us off, introduce us to downtown? Absolutely. Uh, I'll start off by saying we're in the commercial district and not downtown. <laughs> uh, which is, um, but that's fine. You, know, you wouldn't necessarily have known this size, so that's all that's good. That's true. Um, so, yes, we're... Well, we're star trapped in the uh, in Raccoon City, obviously, and we're trying to sort of access through the various different areas that we can go through. When while we do this, there's a number of different things that we can use to use to use objectives in this scenario. So we can look for campaign paths. Uh, they will enable us effectively to find our way uh, to new areas of the city that we might not have access to now. Uh, there are campaign items, uh, which are items C's. Those ones are things like you know valuable supplies. They might be first aid sprays, or they might be like um, a rare weapon. Or alternatively, they could be uh, things like keys or batteries or something else that we might need to access another area of the city. Um, the last thing, of course, is that we're looking to try and find our way through to uh, actually complete the scenario itself. Now, one of the things you can do here is we can go out to where the Raccoon City Police Department entrance is, and then something will happen. The start <laughs> something the scenario, you, totally you didn't just the, drag off screen. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So the, well, it's not supposed to be there. It's a marker. So the point being that at the start of this scenario, we know that all we need to do is try and head to that point. And there's a narrative token that we click on, and we know we're going to trigger a narrative event. So Fantastic. with that in mind, um, should, I do the, uh, should I do the intro? From yes. The itself? Yes. Go Let's right ahead. That. So, <clears throat> he says, uh, getting his appropriate voice, Fire rages through this area of the city and illuminates the horizon, painting the walls around you amber and casting long shadows into every alley and doorway. Frightening though it may be, your fear abates when you see the silhouette of the Raccoon City Police Department ahead, an all too familiar beacon of hope. So, in this scenario, uh, the characters will face Nemesis, the model that I've just dragged off the board, <laughs> a deadly adversary that will pursue them throughout the game. The, obvious, the objective for this scenario will depend on what choices the players make when they encounter this terrifying foe. So, with that in mind, let's get going. Cool. Um, so before we go to turn number one, I am playing as Nikolai, which means at the beginning of a scenario I can activate one of my abilities. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit on that, um, which is Concealed Supplies. At the start of each scenario, Nikolai may draw a card from the, a the item A deck and place it in his inventory. So before we start... I'm going to go do that. Let's see is, those handgun bullets. Which is this one here. Draw one. It's a red herb. <laughs> All right. It's not, you know, terrible. not terrible, but also not immediately uh, it's, usable. As long as we can get a green herb, that makes it basically a first aid spray. So. Yeah, exactly. exactly. Just to quickly remember, Sai, if you, uh, I'm not sure if you had this on the thing, you can double click a card and it comes up on the screen bold. Uh, which oh, that's right. I will attempt to do that. Or on it, yeah. Okay, in that really? case, um, let's start with uh, our hero of the hour, Mrs. Jill Valentine. I'm a member of Stars. Whoa, right. Jill's been smoking. <laughs> 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 right. Uh, my skills are more like action focused, so I figure when they become relevant, then maybe. Right. I mean, unless Sam wants to give the spiel now, that, that's that's fine. No, I think let's let's just play, and and when they come up, you just sort of explain them when it's relevant. I think. Okay, so uh, very. Very straightforward. I'm just, uh, I'm thinking, going through this small area, and maybe I'm taking the zombie out and going for the door. So action one, step forward one step. Action two, I'm going to take a two round shot 
at this zombie and see if we get any lucky because my pistol has the ability to fire in bursts and I feel like three's frisky. It's frivolous. <laughs> so, so I don't know if you want to like catch these. Uh, oh yeah, let me like dice. Uh, Shift click. All right, there we go. All right, so I'm going to roll them dice and see what we get. Oh, Ooh. whoa, here we go. Two pushes. Awesome. That achieves nothing. <laughs> right. You can push the zombie into your square, to be fair. You can yeah, will push react away and again. move towards you anyway, right? Oh, no, because you've hit it. No, oh. I'm talking nonsense already. I mean, can we think of any tactical benefits for bringing the zombie closer to me? I mean, um, you can run Mikhail past is pretty poor at dodging. That's the only issue. But like, bringing it close, you could all attempt to dodge past it. But the car right. is a pretty weak dodger. You're right, guys. We should waste more bullets on my opening turn. <laughs> um, so I'm going to knock down my dial. The, can I just type? This is what you get for diving out of exploding buildings, Steve. You're obviously still got a little <laughs> bit of uh, it ringing in the ears. Not quite as good a shot as normal. That's right. That's what it is. Ah, here we go. Just uh, manually adjusting my ammo count so it's accurate. Uh, I'm going to do, you know, another two-round burst. It failed me last time, but it might, it might, it might work out. You know, because I'm a gung-ho person. I've only got one action left after this, though, so. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, okay. Ooh, not a great start. So, you get to make a move, though. Abilities, though. Yeah, you I do get to, use, I get to use my reposition move. So while I have technically fired two bullets for the sake of moving, I do get to use it to get to any adjacent square. So now I've got one action left, and I can either attempt to shoot the zombie again, or I can regret this decision and uh, go for a knife attack. Yes. Or I could just pull back and wait for the zombie to lurch close, I suppose. Mm, I, don't, I don't know. I, it, yeah, we're going to get bogged down too much if I just like, stand still. So last action, I'm actually going to just take a step back and let the zombie... Uh, it, I'm right, I think it react moves now. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, and you yeah, yeah. your actions, it does its regular react. There's a tension deck first. No. Nope. Right, okay. Okay. And then uh, round out the turn with the best bit. All clear. Fantastic. For a precious oh, moment. Yes. All is strangely quiet, and the card keeps moving, so Steve can't read it. Uh, <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> for, a, for a precious moment, all is strangely quiet and at peace. Even the relentless wind calmed, except for that one zombie down the corridor, but we don't speak about him. Hmm. <laughs> uh, so in that case, we're going to stay with this side of the board, I guess. Sherwin, going to go next? Sure. Uh, so, Mikhail. Mikhail also uh, won't really have any abilities that are going to come into play too much right now. Uh, so I'll identify those as we get there. Uh, although that said, if I do get to that point, it's pretty grim. So <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to here. Uh, I am going to walk one, then two into the same square as the zombie, uh, and then I think I'm going to give it a bit of the shooey shooey. Uh, and let's go with, hmm, let's go with also two bullets, I think. This one. Let's uh, see those blams. This one, and uh, some of that. And he's yeah. <laughs> That'll do it. That's what happens when an actual soldier does it. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's mostly because, you know, it was on my train. One, two, <laughs> three for the attack. So my last one, I'm just going to step close to this door, feeling like a boss. Fantastic. Uh, so you haven't got any reactions. Uh, we do have a tension card, though, uh, which I'll pick up now. Oh, hello. And then not we had to put it down. Good me. <laughs> so Tabletopia uh, strikes again. Uh, it's all clear. And for, uh, yes, for a precious moment, all is now actually at peace because the zombie is dead. <laughs> Good work, okay. team. Well done. Uh, okay, uh, Adam, do you want to go next? I'll go last, happily. We're not going to go clockwise? What are we doing? Oh, I mean, okay. Right. I know we get to choose, but it's okay. fine. I'm happy to go. I'm going to flip right. open this door here. I'm, uh, I'm sorry, that's a stack of tension cards now, by the way, guys. So that's Fantastic. one, two to move in, and I'm going to need to roll on this chart because yep. I entered a tile with a yellow. So you remove one of the encounter, one of the encounter tablet um, tokens, and if you roll, yep. I'll tell you what you get. Okay, I rolled a four. That's one zombie. Okay, and he appears the other side of the fire, Let's correct? This guy here. Uh, well, let's have a quick look, see what's here. Uh, yep, uh, looks okay. things. it's on the other side of the fire. Good. Oh, because he can't appear in your square. Oh, no, he, they, I don't have a... Okay. 
So that was two. And then I. Oh, no, sorry. No, to... I see. I see the uh, thing. It's an absolute line. Oh, it's, it's here. here. Okay. Mm. So right, that case, oh, no, yes, yeah, right. I'll shoot two dice for my third action. Oh, are we going to see tactical use of fire here? Yeah, that's what I'm trying for. <laughs> I like it. Okay. The moment of truth. We get a push. Nice. So I'm pushing him into this fire. <laughs> <laughs> Sherwin, do you want to let us know what happens there? Uh, well, the zombie's on fire, and it's not really enjoying it very much. So uh, at that point, the zombie is dead. It takes one wound. Uh, a zombie's going to sustain one wound, and then it dies. All I'm cool. going to do if I do that is replace it with one of my on-fire Resident Evil 2 zombies <laughs> from the board game and keep it going. <laughs> you got one more action left, I think, Adam. I do. Um, I am going just to move on to... <laughs> I just move one over here, so next turn I can jump through that fire without staying there. Fair enough. Excellent. Sounds like a plan. Fair enough. Cool. Tension okay, time. Okay, that is my turn. Tension deck. Deckaroo. Let's see. <laughs> Get it to snap. All clear. Fantastic. Okay. Okay. Uh, so I am probably going to go the opposite way and we'll loop around, I think. Hell yeah, we'll meet each other on the other side. I'm going to move, I'm going to flip that open, I'm going to step through, uh, and now I have the roll for a yellow room. One moment. What you got? So, so I am going to roll, which is that one? It is a four as well, so it's one zombie. That's one zombie. And that one zombie is never going to find peace. Come over here. Uh, so those are equal <laughs> distance, so I'm going to get to make that decision, right? That's correct. So I'm going to... I guess I'll put him here, because I'm going to be going towards that item first. Um, so for my last action, I'm going to stop on the item token, uh, which means the zombie's going to move towards me as a reaction at the end of my turn, and then I will draw my tension card. Uh, so it's a quick thing actually worth mentioning here for the viewers that uh, ordinarily, just like Resident Evil 2, if the tension deck runs out in Resident Evil 3, it's game over. But on this particular scenario, um, because it's one of the early ones, it actually gets refreshed and you shuffle it and then draw again and then deal again. Good to know. So, yeah, this one doesn't have any typewriters or increments. Cool. So you don't have to worry too much on this scenario about time wasting. We can, we can do a thorough search job. Obviously, we want to try and save our resources, though. And that is why episode one is seven hours long. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Steve, we're back round in a circle. Shall we go? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Okay, one, two. Hi, Mikhail. I'm going to open a door for you because I'm nice. Three, <laughs> and then I'm going to step through. Four, You're not totally and then... good at shooting doors, so that's fortunate. <laughs> uh... Tension deck time, isn't it? It is. is there's no, there's no um, encounter table on this. There's no. no. Okay, what we got? Boop, 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 boop. All clear. Excellent. Okay, Mikhail. Then, uh, do you want me to go get the item in the uh, the item B, and then you forge forward? Uh, yeah, if you th yeah. One, two, three, and then four. Then I'll run this way around, and we'll also have a look. Oh, apparently, I can't pick up cards. Interesting. All right, well, I'll flip that over and take care of this deck. In the meantime, uh, it's all clear. Excellent. All right, explosive A, it's your go. Explosive A? Explosive A. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to explosively jump through this <laughs> damn fire. Okay, so, so when you uh, when you end an action in fire, you take one damage. So I'm going to move to there and take a damage. So that's yep. one. Move to there, two. Move to there, three. And for four, I will pick up this item A. Okay, so put a damage on me. And let's grab an item A. Let's hope we get something fun. And gun bullets. If it will let me grab from this angle I'm at. There we go. Okay. So if you're struggling, yeah, Q and E will rotate the camera for you. It is a good. red herb also. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Fantastic. <laughs> Who shuffled that deck? <laughs> hmm. Okay. okay. Uh, uh, tension. Uh, tension deck. Okay, let's grab one. 
and snap it there. It will snap. Oh, I'll just flip it and snap it in a second. All clear. Right. Fantastic. Yeah, okay. We've had like so many all clears in a row. I'm kind yeah. of nervous. Yeah, I know. Right. Yeah. That's, it's a good time uh, when that happens. Oh, we missed a reaction, I have to say. That zombie will come forward because of all the oh, open yeah, doors. Oh, yeah, there is an open set of doors. So good these cool doors. doors. Uh, so that's all right. That's fine. So on my turn, I'm going to start by picking up that item, eh? Uh, Red herb. Right, exactly. What's the, what's the chance? Roll that dice. It can't be. What we got? Nope, it's gunpowder. Nice. I do this nice. in the most awkward way possible, sorry. Drag this all over. <laughs> it's fine, that's what I do. Oh, and now I've put it in my hand accidentally. Me and Tabletop here are good friends. <laughs> right, okay, um, so I'm gonna, from here, I'm gonna fire directly at that zombie. So let me take my handgun down a couple shots. A couple of shots. No, that's one. There we go. Okay. So I'm gonna roll these. Yeah, push. push. Uh, push okay. it into the yeah, room. I'll push it into that room. Um, I've got two more actions. Is it worth me shutting the door on it? Or not, really? Um, yeah, because it's not going to come towards me because of the fire. Yeah, yeah, this is... Oh, that's very true, actually. So just lock it in there. Yeah, it's all right. I'll right, cool. shut that door on it. That's my actions. There's no reaction because of the shut door. This is uh, where you're going to get the tension deck that just brings it to the other side of the door. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Tremor. Tremor. Yep. Only a small tremor, but why did it happen? The next character may only perform three actions during their next, a their next oh, action phase. Sorry, Steve. Oh, don't awesome. ignore that one, Sai. Well, it might be worth saying that you can ignore one of those. Oh, I wonder why it did happen. <laughs> I mean, that's a great question. <laughs> that's a I, could, that is, I mean, Adam makes a fine point. I could ignore uh, that amber tension card as one of my abilities, but I think there's probably worse things to come. Yeah, that one's not yeah. too bad for yeah, where cool. we are right now. All right. All right. Okay. Top of the round, then, yeah? Yep. Go for it. Uh, uh, three action. This time, though. Yeah. action one, open the door. Action two, step into room. And it's encounter table time. So let me know when you're ready, boss. I am. Uh, we have a three. Uh, one zombie and one raging fire. Place a fire token on the closest spawn point. Oh, Ooh. boo. Oh, okay. I actually like this. This is not a bad thing. Uh, uh, the pop you have to run through it is not so good, though. Well, <laughs> this is true, but, I mean, it, it's, uh, you know, pushes seem to be more my common thing, so I spawn the zombie on the next one. Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, and then for action three, I'm going to just go the rest of my turn. Fair enough. So and the zombie will come closer. Yeah. yeah, stare at you from the opposite side of the fire. No, that's oh, good because cool. that means you have a line of sight in it now, at least. And uh, you don't have line of sight through a fire. Oh, through a fire! Right. Oh dear. I have some oh, bad news. You're in real trouble, Steve. Oh, what? Sounds outside. Groans echo through open windows, and hands clutch at the glass. Lay low until they're gone. If this character leaves their current tile during their next turn, their player must draw two extra cards in the tension phase. Oh, that's fine. All you probably won't leave. Yeah, well. yeah, that's that's fine, right? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you still got to get the item A there and stuff, so you can spend your t next turn on the same tile, definitely. Cool. Let's go one. It's me next, right? Yeah. Yep. And it's me who's affected by that, or you? Oh wait, yeah, it might be the next player. What did it say? The if next this player character. Actually? Oh, this character. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's just affecting um, Steve right now. Okay. Cool. Steve Burnside. There you go. Uh, so one, Excuse two, open me. the door. Three to go in the room. Uh, let's quickly roll this. Oh, hello. Not flip. Let's try a actual roll. And three is going to be... Oh, I can have the same problem as you, aren't I? I'm going to have a fire token and a zombie. Mm. Ah, that's interesting. Uh, mm, there's a fire... The item is in the middle of the fire, by the looks of things. <laughs> that's pretty good. Uh, and, the zombies, yeah. and the zombie will be in my square. Yep. Ooh. That's a hairy situation. So item yeah. Bs aren't, aren't necessarily game essential, right? But they're always handy. Uh, so in this case, Sherwin... Or the keys. Is the, oh, wait, they are keys. Yes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Uh, in this case, Sherwin, you would, if you were to move onto the fire, you would take a damage. Then if you were to pick up because you ended another action, would you take a second damage? This is a bad place for a fire to be. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should try and farm the other item bees. So I've gone, uh, where have I gone? I've got one, two, three in. Uh, let's do a 
three bullets shot into that zombie. Three uh, bullets? You crazy? Because <laughs> just I, know. I mean, you're just looking for a push to kill it, really. Uh, yeah, that's true. But you can push we'll diagonally. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just for check. Uh, he gets the push. push. Well, there you go. go. I did roll three. So let's push it into there. The zombie will fall into the fire and then burn to death horribly. Uh, the other zombie will react to my gunshot, although it won't, and it will also move in the reaction phase, although it won't. And then <laughs> we are going to draw a card. <laughs> which is all clear. Nice. Other than the okay. other raging fire, which is painting my face orange. So on my turn, I will go one to here, two to flip this door open, three to move onto the amber tile, and I will roll a dice yes. to do that. You got it. Perfect. Thank you, sir. Okay, we oh, get nice. a... Oh, a six on the amber. That's the worst, right? Uh, nope, that's no, six is good. Best. Oh, six, six on is the amber best. Is, okay, good. A six good. on the amber is a raging fire. Have we run out of raging fires? So we keep rolling? No, we've got... Oh, it said there were ten. Maybe it's was well, bugged. No, okay. I think you put I the can... entire stack underneath that item. Oh, yeah, I probably picked up a whole stack. Yeah, yeah. So there you go. One go. Smooth. Really raging fire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super powerful fire. Okay, I'm going to like just jump you in. You really, really did, didn't you? Is there a way to group move? I haven't used Tabletopia in ages. I do, I do like the way that we're all like immediately jumping on this and helping out. <laughs> That's very effort, yeah. Well, my camera just like flew to the furthest point you could get away from the table for some reason. So thank that you. That was that was possibly the most efficient um, management of these fire tokens I think we could ever imagine. Well done, everybody. So I'm the gonna... time just chucking them. I mean, Adam, you're stuck between there. two fire tokens. You're going to have to. That's fine. Gonna I'm going to gonna stay there this turn though, because otherwise I will be just sitting in a fire, and I don't want to do that. A large round. What we are seeing here, to be truthful, with this particular scenario, is that. Raccoon City is just on fire. <laughs> yeah, it sure is. Well, so the zombies moved, um, and you're drawing a card. Yeah, cool. And we're all clear. Nice. Okay. Uh, I've got a pretty straightforward turn, I guess. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then open the door on my fourth. Uh, did we react with this zombie, by the way? I did move it, yeah, but it's going to move okay, yeah, cool. again now because all the doors are open. So that's going to wander through. And then I'm going to draw a card. What's it going to be? It's clear. Cool. Right, back over to and the we go other end over, of the map. Yeah, we go back over to Jill, who, remember, if you leave this tile, bad times. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, two tension deck cards. We have to progress either way, so first things first, action one, I'm going to get myself burnt and lose one <laughs> bit of damage. Yeah, And then action two, I'm going to say hi to the zombie. Action three, it's another two round burst, you know you love it. <laughs> uh, right, so, re-rolling, hey, I fired, and therefore that zombie went, oh, that fire looks very interesting. The barbecues, I don't like them! And then died. <laughs> right, so... Actually, quite action. accurate to what that was. <laughs> <laughs> action four. I'm going to sit on this uh, this item A and go. This looks rather shiny, but I won't pick it up yet because that's not my turn. Uh, das Tension Deck says it is all clear. Okay, so I'm just going to drop my health track down two now. Uh, <laughs> while I move into this fire and then pick up the item on it. Yeah. Drop that over there for the time being. Uh, so I'll go one to the square, pick up the item for two. And then move this way for three, and then move out here for four. Uh, we won't have any reactions. Uh, I will quickly do a tension deck card, and then I'll pick up my item B and see what it actually was. See whether it was worth all the pain. Mm -hmm. uh, well, that's all clear, so that's a good start. I'll just tidy this up. See if I can get that card to move snap, which I can. Right, okay, and my item B is. I've discovered a shotgun. Oh, wonderful. Yeah, uh, that I was think, definitely worth I, it. I think it's worth running through the fire there. Cool. Got a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. At least Jill Almost. didn't find it, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just mean she would almost be at your sandwich if she did. 
Grilled chips. Yeah, grill, <laughs> grilled sandwich. Grilled sandwich, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go one into the fire, two out of the fire. Let's quickly adjust my health. It's not good. This is actually really uh, funny just to show the variation of things that can happen because when we sort of uh, peeked behind the curtain, did a vague test run last week, we really didn't have that much issues with fire. It didn't really come well, up, but this get, time there was loads of it. Fire. Not, yeah. I don't think so, yeah. So, so three to that. move to this door, and I'm not going to open it right now because I would like a full action on that zombie. Understandable. So I will stop there and I will grab a tension card. Get it to snap. We can't, so let's just flip it. It is all clear. Fantastic. Uh, oh, it is an awesome tool, but it is like very temperamental. Yeah, brain, it's yeah. taken half my health basically. Uh, right, one, two, three. Just step. So, one, two, three to open. Whoa. Whoa. I'm going to risk it. I've got full health. You're crazy, man. I oh, know. <laughs> I'm a maverick, so I'm going to roll for the yellow. Oops. Okay. What do we got? Is a <gasps> two. Uh, one zombie and grave wind open the closest non-locked non-one-way door. Closest non. So it's going to be that one right in front of Carlos. Uh, let's have a quick look. So one, two, three, or one, two, three. Actually, equidistant. You can choose this one. Here. Oh no, it's locked, isn't it? It's, it's locked. Here, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's unfortunate. Yay. Sorry, that's well. At least that, that zombie's going to move forward. Uh, yeah, that's fine. I'll still have my turn before one. it. Uh, um, and that was hopefully. my last action. So the zombie that I spawned is going to move directly towards me as well. All right. Um, and I will draw a card, and it is all clear. Alright, this is Valentine. Okay, so first things first, action one, get this item eight. I want to keep the Jill, but take the item eight. There we go, right. <laughs> what, what, what's item eight? There you go, Jill. Steve. Uh, we have handgun bullets. Great, because I'm yeah, going through nice. them at an alarming pace. All right, uh, and then for action two, I want to step forward towards this door, flip this door, because I'm reckless. And action four, oh, you're I'm crazy. Wait. I'm wait. <laughs> <laughs> you sir yeah. are crazy. That's an You're amateur. Crazy, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. The tension deck's about to ruin me anyway. Oh no, no, it's all clear. Well, all right. in my turn, I simply go one, two, three, and then four over to here. I'm just bombing down the corridor. Fantastic. So I am now. Uh, just in case you're curious, um, if I was now on caution, uh, the good times they they start happening when I get to last stand. Which is when I'm on danger and I can start re-rolling attack dice because uh, Mikhail is not interested in taking any sorts of uh, any sorts of sort of. Um, he's all good at fighting off the end till the end. <laughs> but something to do with birds. Yeah, um, you're going to be very close to that ability soon by the looks of it because you've got some fire to walk through. So yeah, exactly. Come at me uh, with no healing either. Mm. But anyway, uh, I'm all clear. Okay, I guess I'm going to start by taking a shot. At the zombie, I'm gonna do two dice. If I learn anything from our dry run last time, is I need to save some ammo for that damn big boy. For those, for those um, interested, Adam uh, very foolishly got the entire group wiped. Um, in the last <laughs> I did. That was your this. fault. You killed me. Um, <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember being nemesis. You ambushed me with that zombie. Right, he's going to get pushed. I'm going to push him onto my tile. In Sherwin's defense, then... he was uh, role-playing as Nikolai. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's <laughs> fair. Nikolai, okay, so who just was... iced anything that went near him. So that was um, one, and then for my second, I'm going to try and dodge into the room. Um... Gets that dodge. Fantastic. So that's two, three to close the door and four to move over onto the item B. I appreciate mm. that. Thank you very much. That's no reaction my end. <laughs> that and zombie then, will not move. Yeah. Because the door is shut so it shouldn't have moved. Yep. And... Oh, yeah, oh, no, he yeah. was there. You, he was on that square. 
Oh, sorry. He mo I dodged out. I moved him onto uh, me and then dodged out. Right, right, right. Sorry. Okay, so. Oh, dear. Oops. That doesn't look good. Bloody trail. Sinister trails of blood stain the floor, leading off in every direction. Place a wound token next to any unexplored tokens on all adjacent tiles. When an unexplored token with a wound token is removed, subtract one from the roll to a minimum of the umbrella symbol. If no adjacent tiles have unexplored tokens, spawn a zombie on this tile. So that will happen because there's no adjacent tiles, right? With, right. Uh, I don't know if yep. I might be a good good Nikolai, a nice Nikolai, and actually disregard that card. So we don't get a zombie there? Yeah, oh, I think, I think that might be. Sure. Do we, do, do we have to draw another card or do we just... You do, you one? have to draw a replacement. Ah, okay, I will draw well, replacement. Well, <laughs> then I apologise if it gets worse. Uh, it can't be worse than that, right? Nothing's worse than that. It's all clear. Me. Hey. Hey. Look at that. Nikolai's and standing Nikolai's the zombie Nikolai. will be uh, breakdancing on the music tab. <laughs> um. <laughs> right, okay. Um, speaking of Nikolai, I'm probably going to fire a couple of shots at this zombie. So let's roll that down too. Make our way eventually over here. It's a dead zomb zombo. This zombie does move forward. One it time. does. Maybe closes the door. Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to close for the second action, and then the third action, I'm going to move in, and the fourth action, I'm going to pick up that B card, which is going to be a first aid spray. Hey, nice. first wow, podcast yeah. player. <laughs> Would be uh, quite useful. Could you got two now? I, I have two. <laughs> Tension deck for you, so it is. It is that time. It's all clear. A very successful turn. If I do say so myself. Now, right. viewers. Last time we left Jill, she was staring at a room, going, "That looks a bit amber." Hmm. <laughs> So for her first action, she's going to step into the room and then roll a dice. Let's see. Three. Two zombies. And you know what? All things considered, it's still pretty bad. But yeah. Uh, <laughs> right. Uh, where, give me that zombie. Come here. Come here. Go sit on item C. Thank you. All right. Uh, for action two, I uh, I kind of want to wait for Nikolai. Uh, I want to wait for Mikhail's backup. So I might just... Oh, so uh, methodical and so slow moving. You're, um, I'm not complaining about that. It's just you are the absolute opposite of how I play. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right, okay. I'll half and half it. I'll half and half it. So action two, I'm going to stand there for action three. Steve's going to recklessly shoot his gun yeah, again. Have lots of That's not a bad idea. idea. Yeah. Uh, another two round burst at the zombie directly in front of Jill. So bang, bang. Kiss, kiss, bang, bang. Firing. And it's dead. Well, nice. one is dead. Right, so that Jeff goes away, and his mate Pete stands there at the door, looking all shifty. And then Jill shuts the door in his face. Yeah, <laughs> oh, <laughs> running. So it's uh, worth pointing out this item C isn't mandatory. We don't have to get that if we don't want to. The nice um, thing about Resident Evil Three is we can choose our own objectives. So we don't necessarily need to. If things get are getting bad, we don't necessarily need to go get the item. But since we've got we? the item C, it's well, item since C. we've got the other stuff, <laughs> we can get out. I mean, in a full scenario play, you need it eventually. But that Maybe doesn't mean, yeah, right. Uh, so that was an all clear, guys. So, cool. Uh, all right. Okay. So I'm going to go one, two, into the fire, three, to step out the other <laughs> side. Jill literally just sees heroic Mikhail just running through <laughs> the fire. Um, and then I'm going to go my last move. I'm going to go over to here. All right. And that will be me done. Uh, let's just draw a card for attention deck. It's all clear. Okay, so I will start by picking up item B, which is the last one in the deck, I believe, so it must be the lockpick. So, grab that. Lockpick. You'll make better use of it. Yeah, Carlos. It is the lockpick. <laughs> Yay. Big success. Big success. Okay, so that was one, two to here three to open the door 
and then four to move through because I'm just going to try and run past this zombie because he's going to come at me next turn because that door's closed. Zombro. That stays that way. Yep, Zombro's just going to walk onto my square. And then we're not linked up by anything else, are we? No. Okay, good. Uh, cool. Tension time. It's tension time. Not wanted to snap today. Okay, I, we get I think an it's all clear. You're at the odd angle. Yeah, I know. I'm. It draws it sideways for me, but it's all clear. Excellent. There we right. go. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do with my turn at this point because uh, progressing requires a lockpick. So go um, wait for me by the lockpick door. I could do. Um, or, or if you feel like you can take out this zombie, maybe yeah. yeah. Could help out your buddy. Could do. But then if you, you jump, um, fight, it's going to bite me. What's your health like? Mm, you could do with a heal uh, as well. I'm right in the middle. Alright, okay. Just go on then, you know, let's 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 have a little fun. So one, two to open, three to step through. Oops. This uh, is a Nikolai manoeuvre, isn't it? Yeah. People at risk. Yeah, he's actually aiming his gun at me. <laughs> Nikolai, Nikolai is a... Un Hopefully he misses and hits the zombie. He's a misunderstood soul. <laughs> <laughs> he is when I play as him. <laughs> the, big, the, the biggest problem that Nikolai has is that everyone else isn't efficient enough. Well, it's pushed. Um, yes. But that doesn't push it count for much, unfortunately. It's going to move back anyway. Yeah, yeah, because it'll move back at the end of my turn. So That's fine. We're right back where we started, unfortunately. Sorry. That's uh, not a big deal. I was going to try and dodge it anyway. So. Yeah, it stops you from having to buy him. Ooh, lurching oh. gate. Uh, propelled by some unnatural vigour, your foes lurch forward at alarming pace, snarling as they bay for blood. During the next player's turn, all enemies move one extra square. Okay, so, so we got issues. So it's going to come and get you, basically, and I'm going to run run away. Uh, oh, wait, during the next, next player's turn. Oh. Okay. Yeah. That's... Cheers. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> just, just don't go for that item to see and just yeah, push just that zombie into the fire. We could, we could come back to uh, to this scenario and see if we can get the item to, to, to not downtown? Mm, yeah, to, <laughs> down, to, uh, to the non-downtown. I'm inclined to agree. Yeah. Um, okay, that's fine. Yeah, let's do it. The good thing is wherever that zombie is in the room is always available for a fire push. <laughs> this is true, actually. All right. Well, you know, Jill is apparently, you know, gunslinger today. So action one, step towards Mikago. Hi, you look a bit wham. Um, action two, open the door. Three, step in. And four, another lucky, lucky two-round burst. That's on, Bob. Mm. Let's get it done. Uh, I mean, it's two pushes. Nice. So, so snarkily, I pushed it onto the biohazard symbol and then into the fire. <laughs> <laughs> Just to show it who's for, a short, for a short while, the zombie was doing so well. <laughs> <laughs> and then he went, ha, 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 dead. Uh, and that is uh, it's tension deck time. It is no all reactions. clear. Uh, there's so nothing in the air. Yeah. Alright. Now, shall I go get the IMC? <laughs> get item A. Yeah, let's do that. So <laughs> I'm going to uh, wait for my. Is someone selecting my Mikhail by chance? Uh, yellow is holding Mikhail right now. Am I? I'm. Oh, I'll let go. There we go. Holding Jill. Yeah, it's got a bit of a yellow halo yeah, around you... it. Oh yeah. yeah. It's... Oh, there, there we, we go. go. Thank you for that. <laughs> One, two. And let's pick up the uh, item for free. Move this out of the way. And then I'll see what's actually happening with me for the time being. Uh, before we go any further. Uh, hangar bullets, uh, right. which is not exactly what I need. You need so health. Then I'm going to walk around this way. I do need a little bit of That would be helpful. Yeah, I'm going to cool. see if Nikolai's going to help me out here. <laughs> uh, we have no reactions, so let's draw one of these. It's all clear. Okay, so all right. we'll start by attempting to dodge out of this zombie square. Boom. Nice. One. Very nicely done. So that's one, two to there. I will. Can I use an action to take one of your first aid sprays, Si? Yeah, go on then. Because I am. That's yeah, the enthusiasm you. and the partnership we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, have, you got, uh, have, you got, have you got space for that? 
Yeah, I got one, oh, two, okay. three, four, five items. You got anything I can use? Oh, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. If you need any of my stuff, no, I'll it's my so handgun bullets, I'm, yeah. And then for my I'm last fine. action, I will move through the door. Good. So I mean, second night, you could give him the lockpick, so that way Sai's got a much more efficient chance of running forward to go open the door. That's true, but does it make much of a difference. Yeah, I don't think no. it will. No, it'll be fine because I can get there for my next one. On yeah, three, I won't be able to make it on my next turn anyway. Yeah. yeah. Okay, let's grab a tension deck. We are down to 12 cards here. Not that it really matters. Okay. Oh, oh boy. Oh dear. Death Rattle. An undead hand clutches at you from the darkness, accompanied by a hideous rust. Spawn a zombie in the same square as the character. Well, that give me something to do, wouldn't it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Grab his own girl. Well, if you insist, I will deal with it myself. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> is that even a Russian accent, Steve? Yeah, no. It was something. It was an accent, maybe. So. <laughs> yeah, Allegedly. Fine. Yeah, seeing your guys uh, trading has kind of made me think, hmm, I'm, I'm spending handgun bullets at a rate, and the yeah. car could do with healing as an option if they need it. I'm mm. going to be running out of ammo soon, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to blast two at that zombie. In bold, though, I get to re-roll things when I get down to danger. That's what I'm thinking. Is it worth, you know, it's giving a you a first aid spray for an option? But, you know, obviously. It's, it's, the only problem there is, yeah, if he does take well, the last hit, it's done. It's mm. game over. I'm gonna uh, bear in mind, but well, because I am tough, I can uh, I do reduce the amount of damage I take by one, so I can actually start taking some. Uh, I can take big hits and not have to worry too much about it. True. Okay, so what I've done is I've fired at the zombie. I scored a push. I'm gonna push it into my square. So I'm going to yep. try and evade so out now. Try and dodge out. Uh, over the best. That's a success. So that's two to move through, three to shut the door, and leave those guys in the dust. And then I'll move diagonally for four. Beautiful. And my tension can't can't really be uh, any worse than that. Don't say that. Oh, it's cornered. <laughs> Uh, Locate the tile closest to the active character where there are enemies but no characters. Oh, Remove the enemy on the tile with the highest threat level and place them on the character's tile on the closest spawn point. So, so one that, of these zombies. Yeah, one of those zombies I pushed out just comes straight back. Zombie was not impressed, not impressed with you. It just sort of found a uh, <laughs> found some sort of guard to skull for uh, <laughs> Apparently so. On oh, the well. other side. We just have a quick like roll back to when Sai said, "Can't get any worse, right?" <laughs> yeah, just... Or when when Sai said, "I'll oh, just get rid of this random orange amber." He's card right though. It's <laughs> now the, the situation now is equally as worse. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Right. So, with all being said, Sherwin, do you want the insurance of a first aid spray in your pocket, or are you happy with your two ammo packs? I'll take my two ammo. That's fine. I feel bold. Okay. Oh, dang. Yeah. Mikhail is known for, you know, badassery at the most important time, so... I mean, I'll right. happily trade I'll happily trade you some hangar bullets if you want them. Um, I've, got a, I've got a pack spare at the minute. He uh, yeah. no worries. Yeah. Right, brag I mean, right. Mikhail does have us uh, an inventory space clear. He's only carrying five things right now. Mm. Yeah. Or is the shotgun a two? No, no. No two nope. for in this. Right. Uh, we'll just keep pressing forward then. Yeah. So, uh, hi, Mikhail. Uh, hello, this is a nice piano. Uh, <laughs> gonna open this door, and then I. Be bold. There's no. Yeah, I'm gonna step in. Fine. Why not? Why not? And then the zombie lady goes, "Hi, how are you doing?" Moves forward to me one step. And hopefully, we get all clear. He says, "Is bated breath?" No, oh. no. Oh. How's Deepening... it looking? <laughs> Deepening paranoia. You see movement from the corner of your eye. The shadows hiding enemies waiting to strike. The next character is on the same tile at the start of their tension phase as they began their turn on. They must draw two tension cards. Now, this should be straightforward, actually. Two right. additional tension cards, in fact. So, so there's a three, but you should be right. Yeah, I'm just Unless you decide to sort of go around in a circle for some reason. <laughs> Run around yeah, the laps. Yeah. Um, so, one, it's like two, two, three, four. I'm just going to go Ooh. boldly forward. Oh, he's sprinting through. Yep. And uh, then we're, thank you. It's almost going to go closer over here. And our survey cells. It's all clear. Beautiful. Okay. Good work, team. I didn't do a damn thing, but good work, team. 
<laughs> I am going to move into the same square as Cyan. I'm going to take a two shot at that zombie. Just because we've got an amber tile coming up, and if we get mobbed on both sides. I guess that's fair. Plus, I, I haven't spent too much ammo so far this run, so I'm pretty happy with, uh, with what I've got currently. Okay. Uh, we do nothing. Oh, well, it, not only that, but it's going to move on to our square. Yeah. Well, then I guess, Nikolai, I'm just going to try and dodge out. <laughs> Let's take four. care of it, he said. Oh, maybe not. For three. <laughs> for three, um... Thanks. <laughs> hey, man, you got a good health track right now. Three. There we go. Three and four, I'll move to here. Alright, <clears throat> I'm going to have to make an evade at the end of your Sorry, turn. Sorry, boss. That's alright. You're a bad guy anyway. Thanks. You're misunderstood. <laughs> He's a hero. Boom! That's See, fine. I knew you could do good. it. Right, okay, and your tension. Yeah. Ah! Nope! <laughs> solid plays, though. Okay, all clear. Tension deck is a true enemy. Alright, um, I'm going to dodge out as well, I think. Let's just go for it. So, roll those again. Hey. Yes. Okay, so that's one. Uh, two into the square. And then for three, I guess I'll take the lockpick. And four, I'll open the door. Splendid nice. work. So where is the lockpick? It is that one. on my far left. Yep. Grab it. Let's get going. Do. Okay, so this zombie's going to move forward one. And then we get attention card. Hang on, let me flip Ooh, and this is first. open. Yep. yep. Alright. <clears throat> Beautiful. Oh. oh. Vigo Mortis. <laughs> coming up at the end. Vigo Mortensen. Bloodshot eyes unable to hide their hunger. Your, vos, your foes snap their teeth and rake feverishly at your skin. Enemies on the same or linked tiles of this character immediately perform an out of sequence reaction. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, so that guy is going to come and hang out with us. Zombie really isn't to be denied, is it? <laughs> Apparently not. He tried slamming the door in his face and just scuttled through like a bed <laughs> yeah, yeah. on the yeah. wall, side of the wall. He's like, guys, I just want to be your friend. <laughs> he's, looking, yeah. he's asking if there's uh, an opening in the UBCS. I, I, I hate to break it to you, I think it's Dario. Uh, I think he's just tried to follow you and you can't possibly afford. <laughs> <laughs> he told okay. you he wasn't leaving. Yeah. No. He, he was upset because, yeah, he's lost his lost his sleeve out there. Um, <laughs> uh... All right, Jill. Okay, all right. Uh, I'm trying to figure out how we uh, deal. With... Oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be I'm going to be frivolous and reckless. Why not? So one, two, high zombie, and for my yeah. fourth action, it's uh, it's the Jill Valentine secret special move, which is the two round burst, <laughs> uh, because it's always. Though. <laughs> it always works out. <laughs> uh, um, Hasn't failed you yet, Steve. Except for that first time. Uh, okay. And it did. So, oh, amazing work. Some of your best. So I, uh, I don't even get the dodge this time, do I? So right, I get nope. hit for one damage, and then I can push the zombies. Is that right? Yeah, push it onto Mikhail. See you later, fool. I'm not that mean. <laughs> no, don't. Mikhail's, uh, uh, Mikhail's yeah, in Mikhail. a bad spot right now. And Mikhail then, is currently holding his stomach wound and feeling not so good. Um, yeah. But it will move back, won't it, on the reaction phase? So yeah. That's unfortunate. Uh, but it won't attack, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, attention deck time. Ba bang It's, uh... I don't know how Jill thinks it's all clear, but apparently it is. Because <laughs> she's a pro. She doesn't care about this. <laughs> she's dealt stuff. with this before. Yeah, she's been here before. Right, okay. My turn. And I'm going to be some hot shooting action, I think. And that's going to be a double push. Oh, that's something. The zombie's going to go over this way. Uh, and then purely because we're going to be hanging around here for a little bit longer, yeah. uh, I think I'm going to make another shot at it. So let's drop down to... was on seven, let's drop down to four. Why not? I've got plenty of bullets here. And we're not playing another... Uh, we're not playing another scenario, so it's all good. No, what I would like is my mouse to move a bit far more efficiently for some reason. Anyway. A bit <laughs> lag for some reason. Uh, it's not a push. Well, that's at least a start. Yeah, uh, right, so that's 
two. Uh, do you know what? Let's just do another double tap into it, I think. Uh, push. <laughs> so let's push it to there. Uh, I will then reload. Fair, uh, that's fair. Oh, just one more yeah, push, it would be glorious. Like a long, yeah. a long more blast to the fire. Well, <laughs> then my hangar bullets is gone. Uh, zombie and stagger it walks back, back in. Back to there. Yep, and then we have a tension card. I'll quickly just. All clear. Cool. Right. Okay. Adam, it's your choice hey, if you want to evade out. I think I'm going to evade out and run and try and unlock this door. You don't have the lock pick at the moment. I'll oh, you it. have it. I have it. Yes, you're right. We switched. If I evade out, we're just going to be in trouble. Um, I guess I'm going to try and evade out and see what that room holds. Yes, yeah, yeah, go for it. I get it. Cool. So, one, two, three. Ah, uh, you've got to see what we roll first. Oh, no, first. as soon as I go in here, we roll, yeah. Okay, if you can roll, I'll let you know. Two. Mm. Uh, two zombie at the closest spawn point. And that is... Oh, it won't be the one you're on, though, will it? So it's... No, so it's going to be two this hanging out over by here. Oh, I mean, yeah, I didn't see compared it. Compared to more fire, I mean, that fire was a lot of the options in there. Well, I guess I'm gonna start shooting. Do I want to close the door so you don't get attacked, Si? Uh, actually, yeah, that would be nice. Okay, so for two actually, um... actually, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. It's gonna make Leave it open. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, okay. I, I would have to evade it twice if that's the case. Well, I'm gonna take a shot, well, Joe. I think I can hit gunshots on the other side of that door. <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. There must be another survivor in there. I'm just trying to figure out. Steve, you time to do your own teammates. <laughs> time to do your best, Catherine. Dish your impressions, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I remember, oh, no. I remember Jean Grey, but I'm trying to remember Jill quotes. And I'm okay. bringing the remake up. It's too much. Oh, in fact, <laughs> yeah. well, you're, still, you're, still, you're still be walking around, going babbling incoherently about how um, if only they had the strength to resist, but nothing. Once the wheels of justice start turning, everyone <laughs> looking at you going. Everyone's looking at you going. I'm not sure that even makes any sense. <laughs> I am using my Carlos ability after shooting, so I get to reload for free. Oh, nice. So good. G.I. Joe. Okay. That's all right. And that was Carlos two actions. Carlos is protecting US intr oil with Tress overseas. He's doing a good job. I'm going to try and shoot again. I'm going to fire two shots. I like the those closest odds. zombie. I don't. <laughs> I'm gonna roll these two dice. Oh, push that one back. This one moves up. Some sort of zombie party happening in here. That was one, two, three, and four. I'm just gonna move in a little more. Oh dear. Yeah, the reaction is gonna be for me. I'm gonna need to evade first. Which I do, uh, and then okay. those zombies are going to move. And then these, yeah, this one's going to come into this square, and they'll come into my square, and then we are going to take one of these tension cards and just drop it wherever oh, you like. Oh no! Deepening paranoia. If I'm on the same tile. No, um, if I'm on the same tile. That's. Oh, if the next. Oh, that's okay. Draw yeah, two okay. additional cards. Okay, so you just have to make sure you. Yeah, it's uh, kind of made your decision for you as to what happens next. <laughs> yeah, come in and close the door. <laughs> That's the plan. Cool. Let's roll for that. Uh, unsuccessfully. So I'm going to take a wound, but I'm going to push the zombie off at least. So. Poor Dario. <laughs> Sorry, Dario. <laughs> so second action One, is going to be moved two. through. Third to do that. Is it? Oh, I'm gonna have to take a few shots, aren't I? Definitely. Let's take a couple shots at the probably the one on your square. Not that it will make a huge amount of difference. Two pushes. Well, that's not bad. Um, so that's gonna go over there. 
That one's going to move towards me. Yep. Because of the sound, and then I will make an evade on the reaction phase, which is successful. And then the other zombie is going to move back where he was. Huh. An attention card. An attention. Don't say anything. Is clear. Okay. Jill, do you think you want to go get that campaign path and work out where that alleyway leads to? Uh, yeah, that sounds like a good plan. So, uh, okay. one, two, three, uh, pick up the token. It doesn't go on my inventory, right? It just like, goes to the, uh, no, the, you the, just the take ruin account, board. And you have found the way to the commercial district 2 scenario. So now in the actual main ca and the uh, city of ruin dashboard, we can actually drop that token onto um, the thing. We actually draw that card on there, and we know that that's a location we can go to next time around. Yeah. Uh, was that your? That's just when you move in there. So that was yeah, one, two, so. three. So. And then for action four, I guess I slowly walk back and then pull attention deck card as this zombie walks towards Mikhail. <laughs> All clear. Yeah. Awesome. Nice work. Okay, I am going to perhaps overkill this, but I'm going to shoot that zombie with a shotgun. <laughs> um, because why not? Why not? All right. Yeah. That's the only so, reason you need. That's what he gets. And that's one dead zombie. Fantastic. <clears throat> okay. So that's one. And then we're going to go two. Uh, I'm going to press X on the door and discover it's locked. Um, and then I guess we're going to it's wait locked for it. with a simple lock. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, <laughs> I am uh, not too uh, able to effectively do anything with that. I'm getting all clear. I've had to skip my next couple of turns, so I can't do anything too much there. I'll reset the tension deck while you guys take your next turn. All right. Uh, Should I take the lock pick from you and go and open the door? Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Okay. So first action, I'll take the lock pick. Uh, so let me, let me, let me do that for you. Um, oh, sorry. Yeah. I just um, love the visual. I love the visual of Nikai struggling with a zombie, with us holding a zombie off with one hand while rifling his pockets for a lock pick, <laughs> and then going, here you go, Carlos, you go. take this. Chuck it at him. Carlos should just use one of his hairpins. <laughs> so one to grab it, two, three, and four to unlock it. Hooray. Boom. All right. Uh... So I will have to innovate oh, again. I grab my protection deck real quick. Let me do so reactions the, uh, first. You got to do reactions oh, first. Oh, sorry, you're right. I'm losing my marbles. I have evaded it, and the other zombie is going to move into your square, Adam. Yep. And now you can draw your attention. Yep. Move myself across a bit more so he's clearly in there. Got it. Let's go. Okay. All clear. Just... Oh, in this room. Yeah. Looking at the thematics of it all and the fact that Nikolai has the most health, that's, that's <laughs> brilliant. Nikolai's also, I think, on my plan is to speed ahead. So I'm going to evade this zombie and get off that square. Hopefully. Yep. We're all looking a little bit beaten up for uh, going to find a certain trench coat individual, aren't we? Mm. This Two might, to uh, dictate what our best choices are. To step on the key. Uh, that doesn't make too much difference at this point. That's just an objective token. Don't worry okay. about that. Uh, three to open the door. And I'm going to be wise. I'm not going to move straight in. In fact. Well, that's going to cause. Oh no, it's going to be a bunch of reactions anyway. I'm going to buy a couple shots. Which puts me down to very little ammo. Uh at that zombie directly in front of me. It's a push, which is going to push it out and then it's going to... Uh, and then this zombie's going to get closer. Put it in the center. Okay. Um, cool. The reaction phase. Oh, didn't think that one through, <laughs> did I? Mm, the reaction phase. Oh, what dear. Well done, Nicola. You, you take one for the team in spectacular start. And I do have indeed. Tart, thank you. Well then, it's up to you guys to save my life, obviously. No pressure. We'll do our best, I guess. Oh, come on, snap. Oh, don't, whatever. Flip. Flip over All clear. Okay, so... Very clear. 
My first two actions, it's barreling into Mikhail's shoulder going, All right, mate, how are you doing? Action three oh, is... <laughs> or hot geezer. Uh, uh, <laughs> my third action is reload my handgun, so I'm going to chuck in an extra eight bullets, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. Uh, and these 11 bullets are the last ones I'm probably going to bring up. So I'll fire a two-round burst at the uh, the silver-haired silver fox, aiming for the zombies, of course. Silver idiot, more like at this point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I push one of the zombies away uh, for my fourth action. I'm going to close the door. That's a great idea. And then... Wait, no, wait. One, two, three... No, I don't get to close the door. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, All right, so the zombie state... Uh, well, you probably make the reaction fight. Make, give Sai an easier dodge before it moves. Right. Attacks okay. are first. I, yeah, I mean, he'll fail it anyway. So. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. All right. Um, no, it it's all clear, allegedly. Yeah, it feels um, like it. Okay. I tried. <laughs> <laughs> right. Uh, Remember, you get to push that zombie. I oh, that's pushed right. it when it reacted back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, no, you're right. Okay. Um, yeah, so someone's got a shotgun, right? Uh, pretty much how this is going now. <laughs> so let me spend another uh, shotgun shell. I have both zombies on the same square right now. Unfortunately, not. Yeah, unfortunately, not. No. Okay. Uh, on the plus side, there is one less zombie in the same square as Nikolai, so I'm just going to take away the one that would move in. Right. Uh, so that's one. Uh, I'm then going to spend a bunch of handgun bullets. That's what my on now ten. So I spend three. Oh, hello. Dice going away. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you want to move them closer for your action shots, sir? That's all right. I got it. Oh, I thought you'd already. He is dead. Um, killed, the other, killed the other zombie. Cool, he's dead. Nice. Right, okay. That's two, uh, three, and then four. And then uh, we have no reactions here. No, we don't. So we've got no go. Oh, hello. I forgot the whole tension deck and move it. <laughs> okay, and we have all clear. Okay. So then, I will just go... Let's do one, it, let's be bold, gents. <laughs> two. Now, do I want to use... Mm, no, I go don't. Go on. Dare take to dream. a hit and then use the spray. Yeah, get the most out of it. Yeah. Okay. We didn't pick up any green herbs, so we've all got red herbs. <laughs> of course. Nothing to flip and do it with. So that was one, two. Do we want to open? Oh, we it's already open, open, so Set go through, be bold. Go right I ahead. Be bold, I'll my friend. Do it, I guess, because then I don't draw attention at least. Okay, let us let us get to this part. So let's remove the token. So, uh, the first time a character is placed in the same square as the narrative token, remove the token and read out the description below. The gate behind you opens with a rusty metal screech and a panicked survivor in a big yellow jacket. So they just added the benefit. Staggers under the arch, <laughs> bloodied and bruised, a shaky hand staunching a stomach wound. They begin to speak before a huge creature smashes into them and crushes the life from their body. The creature looks at you and growls a single word. So, so we have a choice. We... <laughs> we can fight or we can flee. If we fight, we spawn Nemesis Stage 1 in the square marks in the scenario brief, which is uh, I'll point out to you when we actually get there. Uh, this character and any other characters placed on this square, on this tile, cannot leave the tile until Nemesis has been killed. If a character... Crap. If a character on this tile is rendered unconscious, the players immediately fail the scenario. Uh, if you kill the nemesis, uh, you can immediately draw three cards from your main deck so you can get some green house. <laughs> That's uh, the dream. After killing the nemesis, we may successfully choose a, uh, we may choose to successfully complete the scenario at any time, or flee. Increase the city danger level by one. Add the RPD one campaign path card to the Raccoon City dashboard, then remove the RPD entrance tile from the playing area and place this character in the same square as the key token. The player successfully complete the scenario if every character left in the playing area has left the playing area by spending an action while in the same square as the green exit token, which is all the way back over there where near where um, Nikolai and Carlos started off, mm -hmm. where the zombie is waiting for us. So. What do we oh. want to do? I don't like the looks in that zombie, so I think we should find Nemesis instead. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Remember, if we Especially choose this, then the, only, the only way we can do this is kill, ne is kill Nemesis. That's our only choice. Let's do it. Double checking, Brilliant. but we can't shoot into that tile, can we? Uh, we, we can. We can we line can up to that shoot. But, right. but he can leave. He can wander over us to get us. Beautiful. Well then, Adam, you've got one more action. In uh, fact, before you take that action, shall I look at the Nemesis uh, cards? Yeah, sure. So, Nemesis Stage 1 reference card. So, Nemesis Stage 1 has several abilities. Resilient, uh, it cannot be pushed effectively. Uh, relentless Pursuit, if a tension card with what looks like a an orange cut in half. Suit. Yeah, mm -hmm. effect box, symbol is drawn, and this enemy is not on the same tile as the character, place this enemy on the same tile as the active character on the close spawn point, so that's not going to affect us right now. And variable, when Nemesis Stage 1 spawns, use the reference card that matches the current city danger level, uh, which obviously is what we have here. Uh, because so, it's an early scenario, we've set it at the basic level. Right. So he's got five health, he has a movement of one, threat level is four, which means he takes priority over pretty much everything, um, and his attack has a range of one, so any adjacent square, and he'll deal two damage and a push if he hits you successfully, so that's pretty cool. Although only one damage to me, because I am tough. <laughs> this is true. Okay, Adam, feel free to okay, take your so last action. Okay, so if I move into this corner here, he can't attack me diagonally. That will exactly. That's correct. You can use the okay. line of sight stuff. Here I like that. Get around here. Okay. So reaction phase, and Nemesis is going to growl something that sounds a little bit like bars, and then wander <laughs> over this way. And then we have a tension. Oh no, you don't have a tension deck card. While you're on this no, tile, I quick look at the scenario brief. Uh, character on the RPD entrance tile, which is what this is, does not have to draw a card during the tension phase. Nice. He just growls. U B C S, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. That makes it <coughs> my go. So, I guess what I'll do Let's first. Rock and roll. I guess I should just use that gunpowder, um, which is going to uh, give me four ammunition points, which isn't a whole lot, but <coughs> it's something. So that's going to put me up to seven. Just get rid of that. Put over there somewhere. Um, and then I'm going to spend three of them, in fact. Remember, someone wants to try and get that um, that campaign. Uh, path. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and scoot around the back. Oh, okay, that's the entrance to the RPD building. We need to unlock that. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> <laughs> nothing. I, I would have pushed well, him if I could push he him. Doesn't get pushed. So. Uh, so Is he, he gonna move react, forward? At least? No, no, because no, okay. you did. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh, it's just okay. he went and then didn't care. Right, um, I'll fire two more. Make sure you get in so that you don't have to draw attention. Yeah. Two pushes and uh. nothing happens. Brilliant. So I'm going to step in for my three and then I'm going to move on the same square as Carlos. Um, which means Nemesis is going to move forward at the end. And I'm going uh, to yep. not draw attention deck card, which means we go back round to Steve. <coughs> okay. Since Nemesis is right there, line of sight, mm, I yeah, have you're the welcome. spare. Uh, I'm going to just light him up. Go for it. Alright, so for my Make first action, we are now going. <laughs> we're making pay for killing maybe Brad Vickers, apparently. <laughs> Yellow <laughs> jacket man. Yeah, he killed Adam. He's in the game. He killed Adam's chibi. Right. So, we're going to go for a three round burst. Let's hope for the best. Dare to drink, uh, my friend. Upgrading. He took oh, yeah, one damage. Has he got a health dial? No, he uh, takes wound tokens. Wound tokens. tokens. Oh, yeah, oh, there there's we go. One. Right, uh, so for my second action, we're going to just uh, go full. I remember, if, remember if you rolled the large one, you can evade. Uh, you can make a move. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You might as well move towards him. Yeah, that sounds like a, 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 a prospect. Okay, yeah, <laughs> sure, why not? Uh, right, so for my next burst, let's go. What do we get? Uh, nothing. So, Ooh. Nemesis is going to move towards the closest characters. That's going to be, we can choose, it's equal distance. Where do we want to put Nemesis? <laughs> Let's have a look at Nikolai's health. Uh, you're on caution, and then Carlos is on caution. And then. I think. I mean. The difference is, me and Carlos both have first aid sprays. Uh -huh. Yeah. So maybe yeah. that's the option. Okay. Means I lose line of sight, though. Which is mm. That was your second action, right? Yeah. I guess you just have to move up. Uh, three, four, 
And I still have to pull attention at card, right? Uh, but first we have a Nemesis reaction. Yeah, we do. Uh, so which one of these two is he going to hit? Which one of you guys wants to get hit by Nemesis? <laughs> uh, what's your I health, Adam? You um, directly in the middle. What are you on? Yeah, I'm in the middle. Yeah, same. Oh, well, in that case... Well, in that case... You said I don't mind, so go right ahead. <laughs> yeah, I'll take it. Okay. Smooth. <laughs> okay, so I'm on a bigger base, so I don't dodge him on the small Yeah, hour. you need a medium or large evade. Moment of truth. Biggity bam. Oh. Nice. Cool. I'm gonna Bring slam this. my shoulder into his sternum and then go, oh, he didn't do it. Uh, and tension that card? Yeah, Steve's tension. Excellent. Thanks, Let's go. Steve. Hey, look, I, I, I did damage, all right? <laughs> uh, oh, what happened? Deepening, deepening paranoia. You see movement from the corner of your eye. The shadow striking. The enemy's way to strike. The next, if the next character is on the same tile at the start of their attention phase, they must draw two additional cards. This is well, not... I can't move out, but I don't draw cards. And I say, Mikhail's next, so ah, yeah, yes. yeah. it should be fine. Yeah, I'm going to run through here. So I'm going to turn up here. Uh, it is time to unleash the shotgun justice. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to move one, two. If a red player could not act, oh, highlight sorry, some of these dice, that would be super useful. Them. Let's have a look. And that shotgun blast is going to do all or nothing. Oh, uh, good oh, times. No. Uh, he's at least going to stay there, though. Uh, so that's one, two. Uh, we're going to do another shotgun. Is it just full of, like, flipping Confetti. nothing? Confetti. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hello. Let's actually turn around properly. Uh, right, there we are. It's just a riot. Gun. Bam. One oh, damage. On. Oh, hello. I'm going to pick up the whole stack, I wish. <laughs> There you go. Right, cool. Um, hmm. Got one more. Got one more, and I really don't think I want to worry about getting hit at this point because I am. Hmm. I don't know. Let's be bold. Yeah. I'm, let's I'm do feeling. It. I'm feeling like I could do it. You're gonna get two of the blasts, and we're gonna kill it. Something or like that. Or just one blast and one regular hit. <laughs> Uh, one damage. One. Well, that's not bad no. either. Um, <coughs> so, uh, now reaction phase, and our man Nemesis is going to hit somebody. I guess not it's my turn, right? Time. I took yeah. it. Yeah. yeah, I took my lumps. <laughs> Let's see oh, what sorry, speaking, uh, so actually, speaking of which, I oh, know he didn't hit you, did he? Yeah, so you both yep. evading anyway? Yeah, I evaded. I was going to say, he does push Boom. you, but that's all good. Cool. Okay. Right, awesome. Um, yeah. Doing some shooting, right? Can do. Might as well kill him or off. I... Or you just well, want to run out of choice. We have to. That's our, yeah. that's our choice. Well, this is true. This is true. Okay, so three shots. Oh, sorry. I've selected the dice. There we go. That's fine. Dimensioned the dice. Here we go. I do a damage. Ooh. Awesome. So he doesn't react, and then we'll do another three shots. I'm redeeming myself the last time, hopefully. <laughs> it's a good time. It's a good thing that this is caught on camera this time, so. Yeah, so you, 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 you want to. Hey! There you, there you go. Fantastic. Well done. And let's uh, just pick him up for an action shot of sorts. Nemesis is for the moment. <laughs> <laughs> and Nemesis is down. Cool, and with that, you get to draw three cards from the item A deck. Whoever kills him. Yep. Mm. Boom. One. Two. Loot box. <laughs> three. Can you actually carry all three? I can't carry all three. What happens then? Uh, you have to discard the ones you can't carry. Okay, sweet. Although, well, remember, I you can combine the herbs, so that probably actually works out well for you. Oh, so you can combine them as you've got them. Okay, so I can take... Do the... What's the herb combining? Can I do two greens and a red? Uh, you just put them all in one pile, so you can just put them all together. Oh, oh right, yeah, of course, they just count as... Yep, there's one. One stack. Nice. Okay, so there's that, there's that. You can carry them all, can't you? Yeah. yeah. Mm. And the gunpowder is really good for me. And then I'll, uh, let's just move me two spaces, and there we'll go see, because we're going to go see what that black 
thing is, or does the scenario automatically end? Sure. No, no, we can choose when to end it. So okay. uh, I'm pretty sure we could just walk over to that thing and get it though. Yep. So okay. it's me next, isn't it? So yeah, it one, two, three, and then I'm going to pick it up with my last action. And we've found the way into the RPD building. Fantastic. Woo! Well done, Jets. So Hooray, we, success. Are we calling it, or are we going all the way back to get this item? <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll probably do it. We'll, we'll leave the item see a nice mystery, I think. <laughs> <laughs> cool. That was pretty successful. Um... Thank you for everyone for, for joining us. Uh, it was a good time for us. Hopefully you at home enjoyed watching us play through not downtown, aka Commercial District 1. As I said at the beginning of the video, uh, Resident Evil 3, the board game, will be available um, in retail when it does release. Uh, but in the meantime, you can head over to the Kickstarter. The link is in the description and get a late pledge for it as well. Um, any any final also... words? Sherwin, is are you planning on leaving the regular demo on Tabletopia? Uh, I honestly don't know the answer to that question at the moment. Okay. I, mean, I don't think there's any plans to take away the, the demos at the time being. Right, uh, so go, change, but at the go, moment, go check that think. out then in that case, if it's, if it's yeah, still about we which it should be. Yeah, we haven't made any arrangements to uh, to take it down at all yet. So fantastic. Well, and um, it also worth saying uh, we probably will be covering more of the board game sometime down the line as well. Um, and if you enjoyed this, we do have other uh, Resident Evil board game related content on our channel as well as general Resident Evil stuff. Uh, I think I think that's everything. So thanks for watching, everyone. Make sure you hit subscribe and uh, have a good week. Bye. Bye. Bye.